Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what exactly is type alias in SOAP programming language. Now type alias is simply an alias that you're providing to a type. Let's go ahead and take a look at a very simple example. Let's say that we have a structure called geo and it has multiple properties like latitude and also longitude. And everything works fine. There's no need to change this. But maybe you decide that the property names or property types double. Maybe we can use some other type, a friendly name to refer to the latitude and longitude. We can go ahead and create a type alias degree and assign it a value of double. So degree or degrees is a friendly name that we have created, a friendly alias that we have created, but the underlying value of degree is double. So wherever we will use degree, we are actually using simply double. So there we go. Now you can also perform an extension on the degree, but you already know that this is going to be an extension on the double because the underlying class or the underlying type is double. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and move to our second example where we have a struct call user. And this can have a particular value. Let's say name with string. We can create a type alias to represent a list of users by creating a alias users which represent an array of users. Now, if I go ahead and create some function called display users, I can simply pass in users and the data type can be users, which will be an array of users. Now, these are just example. I'm not saying that you should just go back and change all of your arrays to a type alias, but I'm just showing you that these are the different things you can do. Let's take a look at a little bit more different type alias, which involves a closure. We can go ahead and create a type alias, or let's start with a function. We can go ahead and create a function, which is called perform task, and it will have one argument, which is completion. This argument is going to, let's say it's going to give you a list of all the user, and you can use users over here also, but uh, I'll leave that to you. So this is our function. Basically, it's a completion handler you're going to pass in. It's a closure and it will return you, it will give you the users. It will send you back the users. This is all fine, but maybe this type is getting a little bit out of hand and you don't want to type in again and again. So we can create a type alias and we can call it completion handler or something else and simply assign the same exact behavior to it, basically same exact type that we have created. You can see that this is exactly the same as this. And now we can use the completion handler instead of typing all of this stuff out. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to call it, it will be of type completion handler. The otherwise everything else remains the same. We're going to go ahead and fire the completion and passing in an array of users like this. Obviously, in an actual application, you will get the user from a database or an API, but right now we're just calling it and passing it a array of a single user or just not even a single user, just initializing an array. Now the type alias does have also have the capability of generics. So we can go ahead and create a type alias with something called a success handler or any other name that you want to give which is basically generic type. This means that you can pass any type that you want over here. So now if I want to create some sort of a function, let's say get users, and I will say completion, I can go ahead and say success handler. And over here for the success handler, we can go ahead and provide the type that we actually want, which is an array of user. There we go. Finally, we can go ahead and call completion handler and pass in 
an array, an empty array. Now, if I want to go ahead and call get users, I can simply go ahead and say get users and use a trailing closure, get access to the users, and simply print out the users. So in this case, you have seen that how we can use a generics in type alias. So type alias is a friendly way of defining or giving it a friendly name to a type. And it can be really, really helpful if your type, which is closures, are getting really long and out of control, then you can give them a kind of like a shorthand by giving them a type alias. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.